and welcome to this quick tip video covering the customization of the CamWorks toolbars. Within the SolidWorks Command Manager, which is the top ribbon style toolbar, CamWorks installs two tabs, the CamWorks Workflow tab and the regular CamWorks tab. Within each one of those tabs, we have buttons to access the different features and tools within the product. I personally like to clean up these tabs and add all the buttons that I use regularly just to one single tab so I can hide the other. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Within the SolidWorks program, we can access tab customization by right clicking on the far right side of the command manager and selecting customize. Alternatively, we can go to the view dropdown menu, the toolbars, and then customize. Once we have the customize window open, we'll wanna to go to the commands tab and then access the CamWorks area here. Within this window, we have buttons that we can drag and drop to the toolbar up top. And we can also drag and drop buttons from the toolbar. I normally remove a lot of the new operation and new feature buttons from the toolbar because I access those through the right click menu. Also the contain and avoid areas but you can choose what buttons you add and remove on your own. I'll add the define machine button and the stock manager button from the menu. Once I have the buttons that I like to use, I can do some organization within this toolbar. I like to add buttons uh, following the typical CamWorks workflow. So defining the machine, setting the stock, finding machinable features. I'm gonna go ahead and add this new CamWorks 2015 button over here that's new feature. Generating an operation plan, generating a toolpath, simulating the toolpath and stepping through the toolpath and then finally post-processing. That's the general workflow. And because I'm gonna to tend to use those six or seven buttons in a row, I'm gonna group those together. I can group them by right clicking on a button and say, begin group, and it will add a little divider there. This new button, sort operations, is also new to CamWorks 2015. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but I might as well add it over here. And I'd probably sort operations before I post process. The second group I like to have is the technology database, the message window, and the process manager. I'll group those together. The next group I like to have for my turning operations, and one thing I like to do with these is I like to stack them. So if I right click on a button and uncheck text below, it moves text to the side and makes the icon smaller. Begin a group here, and again, I'm gonna stack these. And lastly, begin a last group with the options and the help. If I wanted to rename a tab, I can right click on a tab and select rename. Also notice that I can copy tab to parts. SolidWorks uses separate toolbars for part files, assembly files, and drawings. And in CamWorks, we'll typically operate within a part file or an assembly file. It's up to us to copy our tabs or customize our toolbars in both part files and assembly files. This will be an easy way to copy it over to parts as well. Now that I've made my customizations, I'll hit OK. And now I can hide the other CamWorks tab, and I have a cleaned up toolbar. If I want to save this customization and use it on another computer, I can use the Copy Settings Wizard within SolidWorks. Thank you for watching this quick tip video. I'm Tyler Reed with Go Engineer. <laughs>